okay this is gonna be a series of videos so I don't know where it will end up this is our NBN modem in Australia it's a cable modem basically made by Aris and that's a CM2800 CM2800B in fact so this one is from um, somebody who had a internet connection issues and NBN came and just replaced their modem and NBN as you may know they just leave the modem at the client saying have fun do whatever you want throw it away etc so because the way the NBN rolled out in our country it's not as money saving as it should be anyway so how do we get into this guy so the main reason i want to do this project is i want to get into uart connections uart see if i can find any juicy information depending on your provider provider of the internet service the port is disabled LAN port so you can't really access its web interface um, But we do know this company makes backdoors for their products but I don't know anything about this particular one so this supports DOCSIS um, th version 3.1 okay Looks like no screws on any legs. Okay. Now this information will be critical for me in the future, so I'll take a photo before it gets destroyed, especially the serial number, and the MAC address, the MAC address we can find out later, no problem, so how does this come out, is that a front plate that can change to every country's branding? So nothing broken, beautiful. Yeah, I'm sure there's UART there. RG Linux. Cool, all right. Nice heat sink. It's probably a, oh, there it is. There is also a JTAGs over here. So we've got four, three JTAGs visible. We've got a BIOS chip, so we can dump that. Um, okay, let's take it out. Let's see what we got in here. Okay. Okay. okay pretty much nothing. Or be like, if no prop, no no information for us. Okay. 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 
so let's have a look what's under here They're using Linux, you know, they should disclose GPL, you know, uh, license or information and, and what programs they utilize, etc. They can't just um, use open source software and not disclose um, Nice big heatsink, beautiful. So it's a massive Broadcom BCM3390 ZKF6BG. Yep, so you can see there, there we go. Okay. All right. Uh, I don't even know, what, what voltage does it need? 12 volt, 3 amps, okay, that's fine. Um, so basically, UART has one ground, is that ground? Yeah, okay. So these could be 3.3 .3 volt rail. One of these is transmit and the other one is receive. And they should have a low resistance if there are data lines, let's see. Microscope with here we go. No um, switch. There we go. Yep. So resistance to ground. So that's ground. We're not getting anything on that one. We're getting something on that. Two point nine eight kilo ohms. And that's the 3.3 maybe. Maybe that could be transmitted or received. This, this one has a lower resistance. Now we got this one here too, so I have no idea. Let's check here. Number one. 360. Nothing. Nothing. That's ground. Okay. So I'm sure there is a uh, UART port on this and let's have a look on the microscope so that's the Broadcom chip Yeah, so we got J2501, J2502, and then we got J31301. That's a diode, that will mean 3 volts is there, ground and transmit. Yeah. Yeah, okay.
and those guys there what does it look like these guys here TPS 65276V same same all right let me get a three volt uh, 12 volt see if I can Okay, just 0 0.6, just to see if we are wired it correctly. Yeah, all right. Okay. 1.5. Okay. So let's go ahead, put 12 volts into this guy. Okay, he wants more ramps. Okay, we'll give you more ramps, buddy. How much amp you need? Okay. All right, there we go. Nothing. Nothing. Three point three. 3.3 and okay so potentially we have 3 J tags but we're not sure so it should be simple and I might do the J tag connections now as well Put the heat sink back on here. Okay. So, for some reason, apparently they put some here too. Okay. Yeah, so we can maybe use Raspberry Pi or Arduino. I don't know. We'll use something to get into this. Let's get out. It's everywhere. Okay. We even got a bus pirate that's a quite an old one. Yeah, we might have used this guy. Yeah, here we go. That's it. Yeah. USB to TTL. Yeah, we'll use this guy. Yeah, right. Yeah, so we'll use something like that. Just sit in there. 
Ja, jo, da. Yeah, should be easy. Just run jump with wire, and so I'll crack this and play around a little bit. And then I might do a video demonstrating. One, two. Color coded so we get black. We might not need three walls. The yellow and green. Yeah, simply ground. We'll figure out which one is the right one later on. And that will be 3.3 .3 and I'm not sure if you need it. And same, just like that. And like that. Easy. And whichever it is, and then I will simply solder it in. We'll have a good connection. We'll have a look at this baby later on. Okay. Okay, so that's it for now for this video and I'll make uh, consecutive videos as I've got time. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to support this channel.